Hi all, it's Clara. I just wanted to come on here and remind you guys to subscribe. It's free and it really helps me out. Also, make sure to like the video. Liking the video helps my channel grow, so I really appreciate it. And follow me on Instagram at it's Clara's Life YT for more updates on my life and my channel. And if you see any pieces that you like in this video, all of the links will be in the description below. Hello guys, it's Clara and welcome to my channel. Before we get on to the video, make sure to subscribe down below. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking me, how do I even start a closet? How do I start my wardrobe? I don't know what pieces to get. And today I'm here to help you out. I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate guide to closet essentials and the basics that you need, how to start your wardrobe from scratch. So I'm here to show you guys, help you out. And I'm not just going to do a video like everyone else does, just saying like a t-shirt and shorts. Like I'm actually gonna help you guys find all of the pieces and I'm gonna tell you guys all the pieces I think you need. I'm gonna give you guys three tips in finding those pieces and I'm also gonna give you guys brands that I think are the best for those pieces. So let's get on to the video. Okay, so the very first category is jeans. Of course you need a pair of jeans in your closet to start any wardrobe or any closet. So the number one thing that I look for when I look for a pair of jeans is that they're high-rised. I need my jeans to be high-rised. Low-rise jeans are just not flattering and I don't think they're even very comfortable at all. So I always look for a good pair of high-rised jeans that are pretty high up. I also like high rise because I like to dress modestly and if I'm wearing a shirt that's kind of short, I don't want to show any skin. So high rise jeans make it so I can wear more short shirts but still not show any skin. The second thing I look for when picking out jeans is that they are medium baggy. And what I mean by that is that they're not like jeggings, super tight, skin tight, because if I'm being active, if I'm doing anything, I feel like they suffocate my legs and stick way too tightly to me. I also don't want them to be too baggy to the point where it looks like I didn't try. So I just like them to be kind of in the middle at medium baggy. And the last thing that I look for in my jeans is that they end at a good length. Like I don't want them going past my ankles and I don't want them ending anywhere too far before my ankles. I like them ending just at my ankles so that they're a good length and they're comfortable to walk in. First brand of jeans that I recommend are the Hollister jeans because they always seem to fit really nicely. They're not too tight and I love that most of the Hollister jeans cut right off at the ankle. The next brand I recommend is H&M's and Denim jean brand. They always are super comfortable. They're 100% cotton and they feel really nicely. They also cut off right at the ankle as well. My third brand that I would recommend is American Eagle. American Eagle always has super nice jeans that I feel like are super comfortable. They always fit really well if I try them on. I love their boyfriend jeans and they're pretty affordable. And the next thing that you're gonna need in your closet is denim shorts and a denim skirt. The number one thing that I look for when picking out shorts or a skirt is that it cannot be too short. Obviously, I don't want it to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short to the point where anything shows. I just want it to end at a good length where it's modest. The second thing that I look for is that it is 100% cotton, meaning like good quality. Usually shorts that are made out of 100% cotton is really good quality and they're always really soft and I always end up liking them the best. They usually look more high quality and the denim feels better as well. And the last thing that I look for when looking for shorts or a skirt is that there are no rips. When I wear shorts and a skirt, first of all, they're already really short, so I don't want any holes showing anything else. And second of all, I usually like to look more classy, so I don't want any rips in my shorts or in my skirt. First brand for shorts that I would recommend is called Wallflower. They're 100% cotton and super comfortable. The next brand for shorts is from Macy's. I always love Macy's shorts. And my favorite shorts brand is called Massimo Supply Co. My favorite brand for skirts is Free People. Okay, the next thing that we have are shoes. My number one tip when looking for shoes is that they are long lasting and obviously you don't know if they're going to be when you go and buy them but you can talk to people and you can look at the quality and the material in the shoes. My second tip is that they have comfortable soles. Definitely try them on and walk around in them and if they have an uncomfortable sole or you don't think you'd wear them, don't buy them. The final tip that I look for when looking for my shoes is that they are a basic color because I want my shoes to be able to match any outfit that I want to wear. My first favorite brand for shoes are Air Force Ones. They're the best. Then Adidas, they're super comfortable. I love these tennis shoes. For slip-on shoes, I like Vans, super easy, and then H&M shoes. The next essential in your closet is having some black and white tees and tanks. This is one of the most essential basic things to your closet because you can just throw them on with a pair of jeans, a cardigan, any sort of jacket. You can mix and match and use them in many different ways. 
And what I look for when finding my black and white t-shirts and tanks is that they are modest, not too short, but I definitely don't like them to be long. I like them just to end right at the waistline. The second thing that I look for is that they are, again, 100% cotton. I like my shirts to be soft and comfortable so that I can wear them and feel really nice and comfortable. And the third thing I look for is that they're medium tightness. I don't like them to be too baggy or loosey, but I also don't want them to be too tight where they just stick to me. So just kind of medium tightness. For my black and white tanks, I got both of them from Nordstrom. I love these ones because they fit as a nice length and they're not too short. And for my black and white tees, I got both of these from Brandy. I love Brandy's tees. They also fit at a pretty nice length. The next thing that you need in your closet when you are building your dream wardrobe is a layering t-shirt. So I like getting layering t-shirts in black or white. I have one in white. But layering t-shirts are so important because when you want to wear dresses or maybe it's fall time or colder you can always put your t-shirt under and layer it with t-shirts over dresses over and they make the look have more dimensions and super cute in the more cold time of the year my number one thing i look for when looking for a layering shirt is that it is long i don't want it to be cropped I don't want it to be too short because I don't know what other item I'm wearing it with, so I definitely want it to be long. The number two thing I look for when finding a layering t-shirt is that it is breathable because you're wearing this under other things. It's a layer, so you don't want it to be super thick material. You want it to be nice and lightweight and breathable. And the third must-have about your layering t-shirt is that it is a solid color. Don't go for stripes or patterns. I don't think that goes well under layered items so i like to go for a black or a white solid colored shirt for my layering t-shirt i have this one that i got from costco the brand 32 degree cool because it's super thin and cool so i can layer lots of things over it and not feel too hot and the benefit of having a super thin layering shirt is that lots of things will fit over it nothing will feel too tight And the next essential you're going to need in your closet is a really good quality sweater that you're going to wear. I think you always need to have one really nice good sweater for whenever it's cold outside or you just want something comfortable but cute. When I look for my sweaters, the number one thing I look for is that it is good quality. I like it to be a thick, comfortable, really soft and warm material because I only like to have really one good sweater so I want it to be a very good high quality sweater. The second thing I look for is that it has like a design within this sweater like lines going down it or something like that i think that makes it really cute and adds more dimension and character to the sweater and the third thing i look for is that it is soft and warm i want it to be cozy and i want it to be comfortable so that i do wear it on a rainy winter day my favorite brand for sweaters is american eagle they are always so soft the next essential to your closet is dresses i usually go for pattern dresses i think they're a good basic essential to have I usually don't get more than two or three dresses for my closet since I don't usually end up wearing dresses that often, but I like to have two or three solid dresses that I can wear whenever a party comes up or something fancy comes up. The first thing I look for when finding a dress is that it is modest. I don't want it to be too short because again, I want to wear it to events and I also want to feel comfortable so I don't want it to be immodest and also I don't want it to be form-fitting because I just don't find that flattering at all. And the second thing I look for, I already talked about, but that it has a simple pattern. I don't like just plain dresses. I don't find them that cute, especially since it's like the only piece that you're wearing. Since it's a dress, you're not wearing like a bottom with it. So I like it to have some sort of a pattern to give it some character and some liveliness. And the third thing I look for when finding a dress is the comfortableness, because I don't want it to be a dress that is just uncomfortable, tight, bad material, then I never will wear it and I'll just feel super uncomfortable. So I want it to be a solid dress that I can wear even not at a special event, something that makes me feel comfortable, the material feels nice. The first brand I would recommend for dresses is PacSun and the second brand would be Brandy Melville. They have the cutest dresses. The next thing for your closet are denim jackets. Denim jackets are a must when creating your closet. I'm literally wearing one right now. I love denim jackets. They're so simple just to go over a basic t-shirt like the black and white tees I showed you. And any day where you're planning on wearing something warm and it adds a lot of dimension, it makes outfits look a lot cuter in my opinion. The first thing I look for when finding a denim jacket is that it is good quality denim. I want my denim to be thick. I want it to have that nice denim feeling. I don't want it to be flimsy like the papery denim. I like it to be the thick, real denim. The second thing I look for is that it is basic colors. When you're first starting out your closet, just get basic colors. I have a blue and a black 
back here. Of course, right now I'm wearing a pink one, but that's because I love denim jackets, so I'd go and get more variety of colors, but I would just stick with your solid basic colors because you can wear them over most any outfits. The third thing I look for is that it is usually cropped. I don't like my denim jackets to be too long. I like them to be pretty cropped and kind of end around my waist so that I can wear them and feel a little bit more comfortable rather than feeling like I'm wearing a big, thick, oversized denim jacket. My first favorite brand for denim jackets would be Hollister. The jackets are super good quality and thick material. And then I love Brandy Melville's denim jackets. They're always super nice and again, good quality. The next thing that I think is essential to your closet is having a good cardigan. Cardigans are another one of those things like the denim jackets that you can just throw on anytime you're feeling a little bit cold and they add a character to your outfit and they go with any basic pieces. The first thing I look for when finding a cardigan is that it is warm. I just want it to be comfortable and cozy and soft and warm so I can wear it to school on a cold day and just feel super comfortable. The second thing I look for is that it is knit material. I love my cardigans to be made out of the knit, really soft material. I think that always makes for the best cardigans. And the third thing I look for is basic colors. Again, cardigans are going over your outfits and you want it to be able to match as many outfits as you can possibly have it match. So again, in grays, blacks, Whites are the great basic colors for cardigans. And if you want to get just one good cardigan, I highly recommend getting it from Altered State. They're expensive, but they're really good. The next thing that I think is essential to your closet is a flannel. Flannels are another one of those things that are just easy to throw on and they're super trendy and super cute. The first thing that I look for when finding my flannel is that it is soft. I like my flannel material to be really nice and soft. Sometimes flannel material can be that thick, kind of uncomfortable material. I always like to find one that's just soft and 100% cotton. And then I like to look for a flannel that is long. I love my flannels just to be really long, like oversized, because then it makes it, I think, kind of cuter. I can wear it with leggings and a t-shirt. That's my favorite way to wear a flannel. Flannels, the brand Orvis, is my favorite. They're soft, 100% cotton, and super nice quality. And the last item that I think you're going to need when creating your dream wardrobe and starting your closet from scratch is a nice coat. You need a nice, good, comfortable coat that is good quality. Coats are so important and they're one of those things you can just grab when you're going out the door and have for any cold day, but of course you want them to be cute so you can actually wear them over your outfit and not feel gross. The first thing I look for when finding my coat is that it is thick and good quality. I want it to be warm because I'm going to be wearing it when I'm going out somewhere and it's cold, so I want it to be a good quality thick coat. The second thing I look for is that it is cute and dressy because again, I don't want to make myself cold because I don't have a cute coat. And the third thing that I look for is that it is a basic color because again, if I'm having one nice quality coat, I want it to be one coat that's going to match all of my outfits. So I look for a nice basic color that goes with most of my outfits. And the brand that I have for my nice coat is actually from Forever 21. I actually think it's really good quality and it was extremely affordable. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and remember to subscribe down below before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope I kind of gave you guys the basics and a good guide to starting your closet. I tried to give you guys some good brands that I like, some good tips for finding these pieces and all the pieces that I think are essential to starting your closet. So I hope you liked this guide to your closet essentials and building your dream wardrobe from scratch. See you guys in next Sunday's video. I love you guys. Bye. If you guys like this video and want more content like this, go check out last Sunday's video, Casual Back to School Outfits that are dress code approved, and I'll see you guys there on that video.